Ease and we dropped this KZ1000 by the shop today and I need to do a compression test on all the cylinders. So today I'm going to show you how to make a compression gauge and how to check compression and leak down on motorcycle cylinders. I'm going to start with cylinder number 5 because it's easy to access and has a good view for the camera. I just need to remove this spark plug. Just grab the correct spark plug tool and remove the spark plug. So the spark plug looks pretty good. There's no oil fouling or anything because when you lose compression on a cylinder, it's usually it rings in the, on the piston, could be allowing compression to pass by them, or you could have uh, a burnt valve or um, an issue in the top end that would allow compression to seep out the top. So I'm going to show you how to check both of those. The gauge I'm going to make needs to thread into the spark plug holes. So I'm going to start by using this old spark plug that has the same thread size. So to modify this spark plug I just need to drill a hole all the way through it and that way when I screw it into the cylinder the compression will come out this end and I can measure it. I need to cut off the threaded end of the spark plug here and also cut the spark gapper off. Before drilling the hole I need to flatten both ends so they're nice and square with eco green diamond paper. Make sure I get the hole perfectly in the center and dead straight when drilling it. I'm just going to pop this with the center punch. I'm just using a drill bit long enough to go all the way through. Badass. And once the hole's all the way through, you really want to clean it out. You don't want any of that debris from drilling to get into an engine. So I just use a regular pink pipe cleaner. So the compression will go through the spark plug from the cylinder into this hose, but you need to be able to have a valve on this end so you can measure the actual compression. What you can do is just grab an old inner tube and cut the valve stem off of it. What's nice about using the spark plug is it has this natural barb section on the insulator so you can just press that on and secure it with a yellow PSI rated zip tie and secure the valve on the other end and now we're ready to test compression so then screw it directly into the cylinder just like any regular spark plug so these outside cylinders are easy to get to and you just need a short piece of hose but for the inside cylinders or if your spark plug access is all the way through the top of your valve cover into your head you can just take various pieces of hoses and adapters and make up whatever you need now I'm ready to crank over the engine and measure the compression so to crank the engine over to measure compression of the cylinders you want to make sure that you open the throttle all the way open and that way your carbs or throttle bodies are open all the way and there's no restriction otherwise you get a false reading and then just crank the engine over for four and a half seconds immediately after cranking the engine you want to measure the PSI at the valve this one is 210 PSI so this cylinder is good so I just need to check the other four but if this cylinder was bad, what you can do is take about 25 milliliters of oil and squirt it into the cylinder and then retest. If the compression goes up with oil in the cylinder, that means the oil is helping the ring seat and they were probably bad. If the compression doesn't go up with oil in the cylinder, that means you probably have compression loss through a burnt valve or a problem in the top. Another cylinder test you can do is called a leak down test. So basically, you turn your engine over where the cylinder you want to test is at top dead center, 
and that means both the intake and the exhaust valves are all closed. Then you take your air pump and you put 7 PSI into the cylinder. And after 15 minutes, recheck the pressure in the cylinder to make sure you still have your 7 PSI. And after you check your compression in each cylinder, put the spark plugs back in, retorque them, and replace the spark plug cap. Okay, ease on we. I did find a couple of cylinders were down on compression on your KZ. So I will pop some new rings and do a top end valve job this afternoon and you can pick your bike up in the morning along with your 5 out of 5 Ichiban Moto stickers. Subscribe for future Ichiban Moto videos. It's also badass if you like them and share them with your friends.